Hello creative designers, are you tired of this header that disappear on scroll? This is the light video for you. I'm going to show you how to create this type of header which will be sticky on scroll. I'm going to use Elementor free version and I'm also going to use some more free plugins. My name is Peter, remember to subscribe to this channel for more videos to follow. Let's get into action and get it light. Thank you. Remember that we are going to use free resources that is free plugin. So what you need to do is you come on plugin add on offer you can see we have three options you can click on add new there are a few plugins that we need to install for the work so you just come and search for elementor so you have you see this elementor page builder is the one we are going to use it's from elementor.com it has more than five thousand uh five five million active installation yeah that's a good number and you can see even the latent from uh, 5380 it has a five star rating you can see last update three weeks ago and i have the plugin installed already the other plugin that you're going to use is called element kit or elementor add-on so we install this plugin the other plugin that we are going to use is called sticky header effect for elementor yeah here you ha we have it is from Watna. it has more than 70,000 active installation last updated you can see one year ago it works very well to today so we install this other plugin with all of them installed the next thing we need to do is we come to install plugin and we activate all of them so i activate element kit after that i activate sticky header for elementor those are the few plugins that we need yeah and before we proceed i did a tutorial on how you can the auto update it came with a feature that came with wordpress 5.5 so if you need it you just come and select all the plugin that you need them to auto update click on here and enable auto update and apply if you feel like you don't want a certain a plugin to update you can disable from here let's just get to our business so the next thing we need to do is we have our menu ready you just come to appearance and select menu you see i have my menu ready here so the next thing i'm going to do is i go to element kit and on hofa you can see we have this option for element kit first thing you need to check is this element element kit option click on it there's no you are not going to save anything from here so you just come and you just click on element and you see if all of these are active these are the elements that you have add on uh you find them added by this element kit on your element or when you are building a page so the next thing we need to do is we create a header so you just come and click header footer on this section here and we need a header click here a header we don't you see we don't have any header so you click on a new and you have this pop-up option so you have to create you give it a header your title i call it header one the type you can select is it a footer or a header you are going to create a header conditions you can create uh for the entire website only for the free uh, free version of the plugin if you have the pro version you can create a, a single header for a single page and even for the archive but we want it for entire website so for the activation we are not going to activate we are going to use it for now we are go first of all going to create create it for now on savings changes you'll have this you can see it it is here so the next thing you need to do is you click here on edit click on edit the content to just direct you to elementor creation dashboard so here we have it this is the page where you're going to create our header from so we are not going to create one so the first thing you need to do click on this element kit icon here and on click you see they have few templates you can use so we need a header click on header they have some of them which are pro version and uh, you need a premium version for you to use them and then we have those uh for free so we are going to select for free i have these two and i 
let me choose one i'll choose this one and i insert yeah you can see here we have it so the next thing we are going to do is we edit it so we, you can start by editing the first one on click you can change this information here you can enter your email and after that and after that you can even enter your link to so how to add an email link you just type mail to you put this to semicolon and, and enter your email with that and you come here and change the other if you feel like you don't need this one you just click here and you remove it but we really need it as you come to this history and you reverse it yeah. so even the other thing you need to edit is this icon but for now i don't i don't think we need, but we can have it the way it is the next thing you need to do is you edit your logo you just click on it and this thing and you select here you choose an image and upload your logo select the logo you have the other thing is you come and click for menu and select the menu you want we want the main menu we have the primary menu you see it we have the search you can set the search icon yeah for now i'm not going to set it i'll go i'll leave it there it is come to this point here and say maybe contact us or faq or whatever it is you need the button to uh, to direct and enter the link here you can enter the link to the page that you want like that you can also add an icon whichever so you can also even add an icon on it you see we have it yeah you can even set after or whatever you want it to be so from there the next thing to make a sticker you click on this section come on advance and come here and select sticky header effect and activate and update after that you can just reload the page and you see nothing has happened yeah it's still it's still not sticky and it's still disappearing so what you need to do is you come to this option here go to dashboard go to element kit header footer on hopper you see these options and select header footer click edit and activation toggle the button and it will just turn on and save the changes get back and reload your page it is shows like that you see it, it is not where it's supposed to be you see it's hiding some info so we need to do something so what to do just come and select this option here when on click on this option go to advance and select padding and enter something like that on top let's update and see if it work let's refresh the page you see it is now working well but see the gap here seem not good so what we need to do we need to play with the padding you can play with the padding until you see it fit well for now like this you can see so what i need to do is just come here and i pick like this one and i put like something like 10 10 and for this one those are the one you unlink is good to unlink and you put top something like 10 and you update so on refresh on the load of the page yeah you can see it fit well you can see just stick well well that's how you add a sticky header in your website before you go remember to subscribe to this channel hit the like button for this video